Hello everyone, I'm Maxim von Haverbeke, a PhD student at the Kermit Research Group of Ghent University. The Julia package I'm going to present pertains to a successful electrochemical technique called electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. After briefly introducing this technique, I will discuss equivalent electrical circuits, which are currently the standard tools used to analyze data originating from electrochemical impedance spectroscopy experiments. Then I'm going to go over the genetic programming algorithm and how it can be applied in the context of finding appropriate equivalent electrical circuits for a given electrochemical system. Finally, I'm going to discuss an example application to illustrate the module. What is electrochemical impedance spectroscopy? When an electrochemical system is subjected to an alternating voltage input, an alternating current will arise through the system. <clears throat> the electrical elements in the system will present an opposition to the flow of this alternating current, and this opposition is called electrical impedance. It is dependent on the nature of the system as well as the frequency of the applied input voltage. Impedance values are typically described with a magnitude and the phase shift between the input voltage and the current. Alternatively, they can also be described as a point on a complex plane with a real resistance component and an imaginary reactance component. In order to obtain an electrochemical impedance spectrum, impedance measurements have to be conducted over a range of different frequencies. The impedance spectrum contains a variety of information on the electrochemical properties of the system under investigation. In this figure, you can see an example of electrochemical impedance spectra for a biological system over a range of different frequencies and input voltages. This data is typically analyzed by fitting the parameters of an appropriate equivalent electrical circuit. A difficulty, however, is figuring out which configuration of an equivalent electrical circuit is appropriate for a given electrochemical system. Experts will typically use knowledge about the system and examine the impedance spectrum to propose an appropriate circuit configuration. This decision is however subjective and several different proposed circuit configurations yield similar results. The equivalent circuits.jl package replaces this requirement for an expert decision by an optimization algorithm called genetic programming. The genetic programming algorithm can be summarized in four steps, each of which can be implemented in various different ways depending on the application. The first step is to generate an initial population. This population is then extended by the application of genetic operations, which are loosely analogous to biological evolution. The two most commonly applied genetic operations are recombination, where two individuals randomly exchange some of their components, and mutation, where some components of um, of an individual are randomly manipulated to increase the diversity of the population. The next step is to evaluate the fitness of the population. Um, by fitness we mean the performance of the individuals with regards to the goal you want to achieve. Finally, selection takes place. So the fittest individuals will then be selected to be part of the new population in the next generation. Um, 
So these cycles of genetic operation, fitness evaluation and selection can continue until a stopping criterion is satisfied, for example, a fixed number of iterations. In equivalent circuits.jl, the genetic programming algorithm is implemented as follows. First, the initial population is generated using a rule-based method. This population is then extended by the application of genetic operations. Two randomly selected individuals undergo recombination by exchanging randomly selected components or sub-circuits. Next, some of the individuals undergo mutation with a certain probability where a new component or a sub-circuit is generated and inserted to replace one of the components in the individual. The next step is to evaluate the fitness of this extended population. And this is done using the minimized least squared objective function between the experimental values of the impedance and the simulated impedance values of the circuits where their parameters have been optimized using a gradient-based optimization subroutine. Then the fittest individuals are selected using truncation selection and the next generation begins. The example I've chosen to illustrate the module is one from material science. So the circuit you see here on the slide is used to model the electrochemical behavior of a metal electrode with a damaged paint coating. In these figures, the blue curves represent the electrochemical impedance spectra of the ground truth circuits, and the red curves represent the simulated impedance spectra of the fittest individual for a given generation of genetic programming. We can see that after the first generation, the circuit already looks somewhat similar to the ground truth circuits from the previous slide. And after the third generation, the circuit has already sufficiently evolved so that it can adequately model the bimodal impedance spectrum of the ground truth circuit. Those who are interested can uh, take a look at this module and the documentation in the following GitHub link. Thank you for your attention.